hello hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and today's video is very interesting to show you my the recently developed tool i designed a tool for intune or the intra to add a device or to remove a device from a group so this tool is really helpful if you are adding a multiple device in a intune group or you are removing the device or you need a, uh, some group details so let's talk about this tool features and then I will show you how this tool will work so this is the tool uh, structure um, it looks like tool looks like this and uh, this is the panel for your device input area so you can paste it the multiple device list here this is area for your the group you can paste it the group name here and uh, this is a button so you can take these many actions uh, with the tool and this is the area for the output and uh, this area when you launch the tool it will give you the whether your Microsoft Intune graph is installed or not or whether you connected with the Intune or not or it will give you the information whether you have the proper rights or the sufficient permission to add or remove the devices and the output you can see in it here in this box so let's get started this and I will show you the how the tool is will be working okay so I have a tool here that is called Intune device tool so to launch this tool just double click here and this tool will launch like this so as I told you, once you launch this tool, first it will validate whether your the Intune graph is installed or not. If it is not installed on your device, so first it will install the graph because Microsoft graph is uh, needed to connect with the Microsoft Intune with the tool. So this is a prerequisite. If you are getting any error here, so you need to right click this tool and run with the administrator so if you have the administrator right so it will install uh, your the graph uh, PowerShell module because the PowerShell module is mandatory to connect it now the next step is uh, the click on the connect button and once you click here you will get a pop-up to enter the, your the Intune or the intra ID username and the password so suppose if you have a wrongly entered something here or like you click the account or suppose you have wrongly entered the some information and you are trying to sign in so it will let you know that you have not entered the correct information so user cancelled the authentication and sorry you don't have the sufficient permission to uh, add or remove the device so that's how it will give you the error now let me connect uh, with the right credential so let's go and uh, this account is showing because already I added my account here if you are totally new so you can click here add the another account and can enter your account so let me go here and uh, just put my the account detail the password here and it will go and connect with your the Intune so now here you can see the message is different welcome to the Microsoft graph and you have the information about your account you have the sufficient permission to add the remove or device so suppose if you are getting this message and you are not getting this message so might be you will get this message like sorry uh, you do not have the sufficient permission so if your account is having the permission like you are an Intune administrator or you are a global administrator then only you are eligible to add or delete any device from the group so that's the validation this tool will do automatically now let me give you an example now uh, this is my the Intune 2 uh, Intune console and I have a group so we'll work out on this group we'll test it with this group only so let's take the group name properly and paste it in the group name and now let's click on the group detail so group detail once you click on the group detail it will let you know uh, all about the group but as we are in the uh, as we are accessing this data via the graph so might it will be a slow and again it's totally depend on your the network bandwidth how much network bandwidth uh, you have so now you've seen this uh, the entry is here how many devices the in uh, the group name is here the description and the device count so this is the mainly what I was looking at so I have the device here only the one device so it's giving the device count as one and when it was created when it was updated 
and uh, if you have any the membership rule it will give you here like if you have any dynamic rule on your group and the on-prem lasting so suppose your group was migrated from local active directory to azure active directory then it will give you the last sync status as well like when this group was lastly updated from local to cloud locality to as uh, locality to intra id okay so now let's pull the device list uh, check the devices in the group so i want to pull all these devices inside from this group i clicked here and it will give you the details how many devices inside in this group so i can see in the back end screen it's a one device only that is a intune 2 but i would like to pull the information with the tool so let's wait few seconds so device in the group i have intune 2 so you can validate it here okay so we are good with this now let me go and uh, try to add a device that is called intune 1 and intune 2 i am adding it again and let's see how this tool uh, will react it if already device is there or if device is not there so now click on add uh, devices to the group so once you click on the device to add in the group it will validate a lot of things whether this is a valid entry you put it here or it does exist in the intune or not and uh, the group name you provided that is valid or not so once it done the validation is done it will start the process so first thing it it will uh, it will be collecting the device id because the device id and the host name is a mandatory to add any device in a group and once is the device id collected for these and then it will start adding the adding devices to the group so device id collection is completed and now it's adding the device to the group and now here you seen it this device is added in tune one because in tune one was not part of this group that's why this tool has added to in this group and now the second entry you can read it already in the group so this device is already exist in the group so it's doing the lot of validation and that's why it's a bit slow it will let you know whether the device was already in this group or not and let me just refresh it and see whether the device had it or not so now you've seen it here the intune one is added to the group and intune two already it was of the group so now the next testing what i can do it i want to remove the intune to device from from my group so i'm entering the intune to device here and i would like to remove this device from my group so now put it a remove device from the group you just click it and it will follow the same process it will validate your device it will validate your group and uh, then it will start collecting the device id if in, in between any error or any issue are there it will print it here so now you've seen it's it's collecting the device id and now it's removing devices from the group so now it's removing from this group and now let's see how it's going to work now so now it will give you the output it's a bit slow because it's going through the graph and again it depends on the, you know, the network bandwidth so now here you can see it changing to removed from the group okay so we are good with this information and let's test it in the group whether it's removed or not just refresh this and now intune to devices removed from the group so the tool is working fine okay guys so this tool is really take a lot of time to design it to coding it for testing and really it's it's a huge time effort to building this tool is for you guys now uh, let me go with this uh, from where you can download this tool okay so i have write a blocks here on my website if you guys don't know then this is what the, my website here and i write a blocks so this is the tool and these are the features and uh, from where you can download you can go here on my the github account i will paste all these information in my blogs and the youtube video description so you can go here uh, go to this download chip and you can able to download once you click here then it will download uh, the tool and you will be having the three files inside the tool let me show you how it will looks like so once you download it uh, this is uh, the download 
exe you will get png you will get and the readme you will get so all these three informations you will get so once you get it or downloaded this just double click and launch the tool okay guys so all these things and might be this tool will be blocking in your environment so you need to allow from this defender antivirus if this tool is uh, blocking so you need to allow so thank you guys uh, that's all from my side uh, um, thank you for watching this video and uh, i will be coming back soon with the, some other new ideas some other automations reporting or your other technical skills so keep watching my video See you soon.